Hello, everyone. Good to see you again. Did you have a good week? Good. I had a good week, too. I went apple picking. It was really nice. Well, let's get into some music, shall we? So everyone, stretch your arms and let's do the wake up song. Ready? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. 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 Now everyone rub your tummy. Everyone rub your tummy. Everyone say, oh. our tummies because we're hungry right so what should we eat you tell me what should we eat okay cool I like carrots can we have a carrot anything else sure wake up wake up touching your throat and making that sound? Mm-hmm. Because we're thirsty. So what should we drink? Okay, let's have some of that. How about some water? Anything else? Okay. Great. One more time. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Let's do a song about the alphabet. Learning our letters. It's very important to learn your letters, even while we're doing remote learning. So let's start with the letter C. Do you know any words that begin with the letter C? Mm-hmm. Well, there's car and there's carrot. They all start with the letter C, which makes the k sound. Can you say that? Say k, k. Good. Now say C k, k. One more time. C k, k. Good. Now the word that we're going to sing about is cookie. Yeah. So let's do it. Ready? C is for cookie, good enough for me. C is for cookie, good enough for me. C is for cookie, good enough for me. It's good enough for me. All right, good. So let's do a couple more C words. Let's do the ones that I mentioned. Let's do car, okay? Here we go. C is for car, good enough for me. C is for car, good enough for me. C is for car, good enough for me. It's good enough for me. And let's do carrot, okay? Here we go. C is for carrot, good enough for me. C is for carrot, good enough for me. C is for carrot, good enough for me. It's good enough for me. Now let's walk that alphabet backwards to the beginning. And what's the first letter of the alphabet? Yep, it's A. So we're gonna do some A words. And A makes the ah sound. So everyone repeat after me. Say A, ah. Good. A, ah. Okay. 
So the first word we're going to do with A is what I mentioned earlier. I went apple picking this weekend. So let's do A apple. Okay, here we go. A is for apple, good enough for me. A is for apple, good enough for me. A is for apple, good enough for me. It's good enough for me. And let's do another A word. Oh, can you think of one? What's a good A word? I have a fancy one, acrobat. Acrobat. That's someone who can do flips in the air. You might find them at a circus. Later, you can ask the person you're watching with to show you a video of an acrobat. So say, A, acrobat. Good. A is for acrobat, good enough for me. A is for acrobat, good enough for me. A is for acrobat, good enough for me. It's good enough for me. And then one more. Let's do the second letter of the alphabet. So we started with A, then we go to B, good. B makes the B sound. So say B, B. One more time, B, B. Do you know any B words? Mm-hmm. How about that thing that's yellow and you peel and eat it? A banana, good. B is for banana, good enough for me. B is for banana, good enough for me. B is for banana, good enough for me. It's good enough for me. All right, so that's good practice. Now let's do the whole alphabet. Can we sing A, B, C? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Great job. Okay, we've been sitting for a little bit, so why don't we stand up, okay, stand up, and we're gonna talk about things we can do at an amusement park. Have you ever been to an amusement park? Has anyone been to Coney Island? Or maybe even Disney World? Or there are some in New Jersey, I think there's a Six Flags in New Jersey. Can you think of things that you might have done or you could do at an amusement park? I think that you might go on a merry-go-round. So stand up again and I want to see you move in a circle, okay? Here we go. Yep, move around in a circle, yep. Come take a ride on the merry-go-round, the merry-go-round, the merry-go-round. So now try going the other way. Mm-hmm, okay, let's try it again. Come take a ride on the merry-go-round, the merry-go-round, the merry-go-round. Come take a ride on the merry-go-round, around and around and around. Okay, now stop, because I don't want you to get dizzy. Now what I want you to do is think about that thing that goes way up and then whoosh, goes down. What's that thing called? It's, at, it's also at an amusement park. A roller, yeah, a roller coaster. So, hold on to the handle and let's go up the roller coaster, ready? Let's go up the roller coaster, roller coaster, roller coaster. Let's go up the roller coaster, up and down. So let's do it together. Let's go up. And then down. Good. Let's do it again. One more time. 
Very good. And one more time. Let's do the merry-go-round. So let me see you go around again. Here we go. Come take a ride on the merry-go-round. The merry-go-round. The merry-go-round. Come take a ride on the merry-go-round. Around and around and around. Around and around and around. Around and around and around. All right. So now you can sit down. That was a lot of moving around. And let's do a counting song about our friends, the frogs. What sound does a frog make? Can you make a frog sound for me? Mm-hmm. It goes ribbit, ribbit. Good. So let's do our frog song, okay? Three green and spotted frogs sitting on a spotted log, spending time eating lots of bugs. How does a frog eat bugs with its what? With its... What am I doing? What's coming out of my mouth? Yeah, with their tongues. So everyone go bleep, bleep, bleep. Good. So they're eating their bugs. One went off to play. It was a beautiful day. So there were three and now take away one. So three, take away one is, how many fingers do I have up? Two, good. And two green and spotted frogs sitting on a spotted log, spending time eating lots of bugs. Blah, blah, blah. Good. One went out to play. It was a beautiful day. There were two. Take away one. Then how many are left? So there were two. Take away one. Now how many are left? How many fingers do I have up? One. Two. Take away one is one. One left. And one green spotted frog sitting on a spotted log, spending time eating lots of bugs. Blip, blip. One went out to play. It was a beautiful day. Then there were no more spotted frogs. Because one, take away one, is zero. That's right. And there are no more spotted frogs. There are no more spotted frogs. Say bye frogs, have a good day. But we're not done, we have more to do. Okay, time to stand up again. We're gonna do some bouncing. And we're gonna bounce like a ball. What kinds of balls are there? There are lots of balls for different sports. So let's think of some sports that use balls. There's this one. What's that? LeBron James plays it. And the Knicks play it. Basketball, that's right. That ball's about eh, this big. But then there's also Another sport that has a smaller ball where you go and Serena Williams plays it. What's that one? Tennis, very good, okay. And there's also What's that? You throw the ball and then someone else hits it with a bat. Baseball, good. Who's your favorite baseball team? I'm originally from Boston, so I like the Red Sox, but I've lived in New York a long time. I can't like the Yankees, but I, I can like the Mets. That's just me. You like whatever team you want, okay? So now let's all stand up and we're gonna bounce like a ball, okay? Here we go. Everyone jump up and down. Here we go about sing, bouncing, bouncing. Here we go about sing like a ball. You 
to freeze. So let's practice that again. When I say still, I'm going to stop and you freeze. When I stand so still. Good. Now stay frozen. Yep. Don't move. Don't move. Let's do it faster. Here we go a bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Here we go a bouncing like a ball. You will never know how high I'm bouncing. You will never know if I stand so still. Good. Let's do that last part. If I stand so still. One more time. If I stand so still. Great job. Okay, so next, we're gonna wind things down a little bit and we're gonna do twinkle, twinkle little star. So you can sit down and you can look up into the sky and pretend that the sky's above you and there are lots of stars. And if you can, you can even lay down if you want to and use your imagination and pretend that it's night and there are lots of beautiful stars and maybe they're even shooting stars. So let's sing it together. You ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are up above the world so high. Like diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are good let's sing it one more time okay twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like a sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are so this brings us to the end of class today and just like last week there's a story included now last week I told you look in the comments and I apologize for that. There are actually no comments in these videos. So if you click in description, ask the person that you're with to just click that description and a link will come up for a new Anansi story, okay? I hope you liked last week's and this week's will be good too. So I'll see you next week. Let's do the goodbye song, okay? Goodbye, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Goodbye, everybody. Yes, indeed. It sure was great to see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's time to say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Until another music day.